Hello everybody and welcome back here to our Ajax FM 22 beta series. Been a couple of days since the last episode, had some stuff going on, but we are back and today's episode kicks off with the Classicer, Ajax vs Feyenoord. We are away in Rotterdam taking on Feyenoord to kick off the episode and then the second game We'll be back home in Amsterdam taking on Fortuna Sittard, which is the last game before the winter break. It's a, it's a short winter break, it's only a couple weeks long, before we return to action in the middle of January. So, two big games before the break, and the first one is a first versus second matchup. We're top of the table, of course, sitting on 46 points. Feyenoord in second, five points behind us on 41 points. Let's take a quick look at the schedule and see how we've gotten on since the last time you saw us. It's been a fair bit of games since you saw us beat Go Ahead Eagles. We uh, had a 2-0 victory against Volvic, then a, uh, a draw against Man City in the Champions League, 0-0. We actually followed that up with another 0-0 game against Sparta. That was the first game we did not win in the league. Still undefeated, but I guess we're not going to win every single league game this season. But yeah, that was a, a very disappointing result there. Should have gotten a victory, but it was goalless in that one. Then we got back to winning ways against Atze. And then Willem were the next victims. Before we got our very first loss of the season... Away in Barcelona was a 1-0 victory for them. And Frankie de Jong scoring against his ex-club. So close to being undefeated in the group stage. But not quite meant to be. Then the latest game was a 3-0 victory over Valwick in the Dutch Cup. So the team that will be taking on Feyenoord has pretty much everybody available. Anthony picked up a knock in training, is going to be out for this game, but we'll be back for the second game today. Tagliafico will be out until we return from winter break. But here's the team. We are all ready to go to kick off the Classiker. Well, you guys wouldn't have known. We've actually already played half of a game of football against Feyenoord. We didn't have a single highlight. Both teams very evenly matched up here in the first half. Though Feyenoord, it looks like they are slightly edging us out. We need to do better here in the second half, that is for sure. I don't think I'm going to make any changes here yet at halftime. But I might not wait long in the second half to change it up a bit. Oh, we got a highlight here. It is us on the ball. Martinez bringing it out. Picks out Blind. Up to Tadic inside the Berghouse, the ex Feyenoord player. Imagine if he were to get a goal today. But we have a corner, Tadic to whip it in. Oh, Sula! Ah, oh, heads it over. That was a real opportunity. And we look like we are much more lively in the second half. And that is not what we want to see. Steven Berghouse picking up an injury. Alright, so with that, we're going to bring on Kudas. See if he can uh, create anything for us here in the second half. We're already playing much better, but we need to find a goal. Oh, we got a highlight. Feyenoord on the ball from a throw-in. Looking to work their way through our defense, and that is a great switch of play in a dangerous position, but Martinez cuts that pass out, and Kudas plays it over to the top to Haller. Go on, Sebastian. Yes, let's go. 16th goal of the season. What a ball from the substitute Kudas. Sebastian Haller was not going to miss that opportunity. One on one with the keeper. Looks like he's going to go on his right. Nope, he cuts it onto his left. Fires it past the keeper. 1 0, 68 minutes. We'll go ahead and make a couple of substitutions while we are at it. We're going to bring on Jetson Fernandez for Klaassen. 
We'll put Tadich over on the right-hand side for Nerez and bring on Darame. And actually, one more sub. We're going to bring on Divine Wrench for Timber, who is on a yellow card, and we are not going to risk getting a player sent off. Another highlight, Feyenoord on the ball. They are looking for the equalizer now. Come on, let's shut them down here, boys. Martinez out on the left-hand side, and that left an opening in the middle. Sula having to fend two players on that cross. And Feyenoord are even on the game. 78 minutes gone. Ah, uh, Sula actually missed the ball. That is uh, not, not what you want to see from your center back. And we have one more substitution. And we're going to go ahead and make that. We're going to bring on Victor Jensen for Tadic. Can we find a winner here in the final 10 minutes? We have a corner. Victor Jensen to take it. He whips it in. Oh, Sula has his header on target, but the keeper was there to save it. He could have been the hero. And that was very dangerous. We headed away, but they win the ball right back. Come on, boys. What can we do with it here? Sula bringing it forward, looking for options. Ends up playing it back to Martinez, who plays it back to Onana. And his pass is wayward, straight to Feyenoord. And this is bad. That is very bad. Are you kidding me, guys? Wow, one ball over the top. Threw on goal, and they beat Onana. Guess we're going to have to go very attacking here now. This is not good. This could be our very first loss of the season in the league. This is not good at all. We are running out of time and Feyenoord looking for a third goal now. What are we doing out there, guys? Thankfully, that shot was very poor. But time is running out and another highlight for Feyenoord. Wow, unbelievable. His second on the day, very similar to the first goal. Just a ball over the top and Dessers is there. Wow, we have imploded here. Wow, they almost got a fourth goal. Still looking to get that fourth goal. Our team is asleep. Come on, Kudas. Ah, uh, needed to beat that man, but he didn't. This is bad. And the team is going to know that after the game. Wow. A 3-1 defeat against Feyenoord after going up 1-0. With just 20 minutes left to play, pretty much. And then we give up three goals in pretty much the final 10 minutes of the game. Very, very poor. A couple players on 6.4. Not good enough at all. And our undefeated season is not going to happen. Well, after that disappointing defeat against Feyenoord, here is the team that is going to be taking on Fortuna. Alvarez and Wrench coming in in the back line. Fernandez in for Klassen. Kudas in for the injured Burghaus, who is going to be out for about two weeks, so he'll be ready to go after the winter break as well. And up top, Danilo Pereira in for Haller. Now, let's go out there and put in a much better performance against Fortuna. Alright, we got a first half highlight here, boys. And we are on the ball, looking to get off to an early start in this game. Oh, that ball was just ahead of David Nerez. But we are right back on the ball, and Sula bringing it forward out to Wrench. Who's looking for options. He plays it in the Nerez. Oh, he gets it around in player, but he didn't cross it in. Instead, he goes back to a wrench. Who picks out Tadic, but he heads it over. Corner, Ajax. Tadic whips it in, and again, Sula. He likes to head the ball over. Not, uh, not the most clinical from his headers so far this season. But we're into another highlight blend. 
bringing it forward up to Tadic. Is he going to whip it across? Kind of. He picks out Kudas, who plays it back to Tadic, who crosses it over to David Neres, who heads it in. The player you would least expect to do that. But he heads it in for a 1-0 lead. 37 minutes gone. Much better so far in this game compared to last game. But of course, we did go up 1-0 last game. And that did not turn out well. So we have to keep our focus here. But we're in the halftime. A one goal lead. And we're going to make sure we are not complacent here in the second half. Ooh, a, a free kick for Ajax. Gravenberg has his, uh, his shot hit off the wall. We are still on it. Gravenberg cuts inside and again his shot is blocked. Coming out with a lot of pressure here. Looking for goal number two. Uh, we play it all the way back to Onana. With a very ambitious ball over the top to Pereira. It was a bit of an awkward position. And we eventually get it in. And Jetson heads it over. Going to make our first two substitutions of the game. Dorame on for Tadic. And... Let's oh okay, bring on uh, Licha Martinez for Daily Blind. Oh, it's a highlight and Fortuna in a very dangerous position. Divine the wrench was there to read that, but they are coming forward again. Boys, what are we doing here? We're only up by one goal, living on the edge, and that was a sloppy pass. And thankfully. They shoot it over, but we almost gifted them a goal. Come on, guys. We're better than this. Get that second goal. David Neres fires it over. Time for some more substitutions, but we're going to wait for this corner. Neres whips it in, looking for Sula, and he heads it in this time. 2-0. Thankfully, Nicholas Sula gets his header on target this time. Cushioned header. Into that bottom corner. 2-0. 20 minutes left. Time for some subs. We're going to bring on Max Deval for Kudis. And we're also going to bring on Anthony for Neres. And final substitution, Davy Klassen for Gravenber. Got a highlight. Fortuna still not giving up in this game. If they were to get a goal here, it would be a very nervy final 10 minutes. But Dorame intercepts that, bringing it forward, looking for options. Plays it back to Martinez. Over to Klassen, who whips it in for Anthony. And they are going to review it. But at the moment, Duvall has put the ball in the back of the net. VAR to check it. Looking for an offside. Everything is looking good. That... That was pretty close. What is the ruling going to be? He is onside at Max Duval with the goal. 3-0. Looking for goal number 4 now. That is going to be a penalty. Or that was a massive dive by our center back, Sula. What do we got going on? Penalty awarded. Is that Ryan going to take it? No, Danilo Pereira. Fires that in there. Keeper had a zero chance at that. He guessed the wrong way. But that was a clinical penalty. 4-0. The bounce back win we were looking for. And here is the full time whistle. A very impressive 4-0 victory. Um, our shots on target ratio is not very good. 32 shots. Only 8 on target. If a couple more of those could have been on target. It could have been... A very, very big margin of victory today. But a 4-0 victory to see us off into the winter break. And I'm going to show you guys the league table before we sign off on this episode. So I'll bring you back for that in just a moment. So going into the winter break, 18 games have been played by everybody. And we are sitting top of the table on 49 points. 
In second place, Feyenoord sitting just two points behind us after that defeat against them. So in the second half of the season, there is a lot to play for. And of course, with January coming up, the transfer window opens up once again. But we don't got a lot of money to play with at the moment. We only have 1.4 transfer budget. We have a, a little bit of money to work with in the wage budget. But even if we uh, rearrange it, I'm looking at less than uh, 4 or 5 million. So unless the board decides to uh, increase that wage budget, to increase that transfer budget in the winter break, because we are still in the Champions League, I might be able to convince them to give us more money. So with that kind of money, we're realistically looking at uh, a youth player that we might be able to bring in, but they really wouldn't uh, likely be anywhere near the first team. But that is where we are at, heading into the winter break. One thing that I did not go over, we did receive our Champions League knockout stage opponent for the first round. You guys might have seen it in the schedule view already if you were, were eagle-eyed. But we have been drawn against Benfica. So that is who we will be taking on come February in the Champions League. They do, of course, have an ex-Ajax player, Jan Vertonghen. So it'll be nice to see him. One of my favorite Ajax players in the last 15 years. So I don't really have anything else to go over. So I'll go ahead and end off this episode here. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.